after Terrence Bud Crawford snatched the undisputed welterweight championship of the world, he is being put on the Mount Rushmore and being thought of as possibly one of the greatest fighters of all time. But I want to compare him to arguably the top greatest fighter of all time, marvelous Marvin Hagler. Right, here we go. Marvin Hagler is on the left wearing the red t-shirt. Ooh, nice counter and duck under. Wow, so Marvin now is jabbing. He's boxing. Look at that. He's in the southpaw stance right now. Look at him. Has his hands low. Moving around by one, two. Backs off. Wow, Marvin Hagler is boxing. He's boxing. Wow. Now, this is old Marvin Hagler. He's younger. Ooh, nice lead straight left. Look at him. Hands down. Mar Marvin Hagler is boxing. Wow. There's old, old, younger Marvin. He has a head of hair here, a slight head of hair, short haircut, but he's not totally bald. Nice lead, straight lefts. He's southpaw, coming down. One, two there. Now he's looking more like his old self. Ooh, nice. Up top, down to the body. He's jabbing. His opponent is trying to move from him. Very Sugar Ray Leonard esque. Trying to move, trying to move. Marvin's just, just stalking him down in that southpaw stance, hands up. Now he's looking more like, but now he has his hands up like a like to catch the punches. It's up almost like a like a pad, like a mitt to catch him. Not to throw, but to more catch. And so we can get close and probably unleash. There his opponent misses. Misses again. Hagler is boxing. Look at him, he's dancing. Hagler's dancing. Woo! Marvin Hagler could box. Look at this. All right, he's, look, he's dancing on his feet. Oh, beautiful. Oh, he just switched back to conventional. Marvin just switched. There he goes. He's no, he's the first. He's the OG switcher, switch hitter. OG. Crawford, all these guys learn from Marvin. Oh, there he picked off a shot and countered right away. He's jabbing. He looks like Muhammad Ali out this piece. Wow. I never knew. Marvin Hagler in the red t-shirt, putting in work. Just, oh, nice jab. Nice uppercut. He has the, the opponent bewildered. So you see the, a lot of these clips are put together. It's obviously old clips, see by the quality. Early 80s probably. Could even be late 70s. Uh, all right, there's Hagler just waiting. See, now he looks more like old Marvin. His hands are up. Ooh, beautiful, just dipped. Oh, beautiful, dipped at the waist and then threw rapid jabs. And he's making, look at that, hands down, making the guy miss and countering. Oh, he's saying, come on. Marvin just said, come on. This might be the, ooh, beautiful straight left jab and left hook. His speed is impressive on Marvin. People said he was a slow, methodical, you know, lumbering, thumping puncher, but he has some boxing skill. Unbelievable. Look at this. Marvin is moving around. Oh, now his hand, now he's earmuffing it. Now he's putting that pressure. This is the Marvin we're used to right here. And he kind of does that thing where he's moving. He taps his glove on his forehead as he comes forward. That's the Marvin we're used to. Ooh, beautiful overhand. Right. Now he has him on the ropes. Body shot. Uppercut. Now this is the Marvin used to right here. Here he is. He's oh, working the body. Working, I hurt him. He hurt the guy. Working the body. Working the body. All right. Picking off some punches. Oh, he fakes being hurt right there. Now he's just letting shots off at his opponent. The opponent doesn't know what to do with it. Wow. There's Marvin playing with him again, makes a miss. He's doing his Muhammad Ali Sugar Ray Robinson stuff right here. Ooh, beautiful overhand. Ooh, beautiful one, two. Oh, and down, he drops him. He dropped him. He's putting a whooping on this guy. I don't know who this, this dude is, but he's taking Now oh, He's trying though, he's trying. Guy's trying. Guy is trying. The guy doesn't look that experienced. Eh, it's hard to tell. Looks a little amateurish there. Maybe Marvin's just going easy on him, but he's not. I don't think he's going easy because he just dropped his ass. He was throwing some hard shots at him. There, he's holding. This guy's had enough. This guy's like, when is this going to be over? All right, and that ends the sparring. There you see Marvin with hair, which is a younger Marvin Hagler. All right, here we go. Bud Crawford back facing you with the green camo. Ooh. Beautiful shot, facing, I forget the name of his opponent here. Uh, in the uh, blue shirt, but Bud is in the green camo. Bud now pressing him, chin to chin. Adamas, Carlos Adamas, that's who Bud's fighting here. 
Ooh, that was a bit of a low shot. Ooh, nice hard hook and then uppercut by Bud. Now Bud's in the pocket, hit him with uppercuts. There, Bud, you see the defense. Ooh, Bud gets hit with a nice straight right, though. Bud just staying in the pocket with good, ch ooh, good. Bud moves and counters. Now Bud is pressing him, pressing him. This is very Marvin Hagler-esque. Ooh, nice old ring right by Damas. Now Bud is standing in the southpaw stance right now. Nice jab by Bud, now they're in the pocket. Bud is doing the classic impose your will on the guy, which is what Marvin Hagler did all the time. Ooh, nice body shot by Bud. Ooh, exchanging straight rights and straight lefts. Ooh, nice the body, then Bud responds. Carlos Adamas could fight, guys. Don't make a, make no mistake of it. Carlos Adamas was an excellent fighter. He is an excellent fighter. Ooh, beautiful. Be Ooh, Bud just, Bud wobbles him. Bud stays in the pocket, makes him miss the counters and wobbles him. Ooh, nice overhand right by Bud. Ooh, Adamas answers back though. Adamas is game, but Bud is not giving an inch. Ooh, nice uppercut by Adamas. But Bud is choose oh man, Bud dips back. Bud is ooh, beautiful shots by Bud. Beautiful shot. Bud gets nailed, sticks his tongue out. Classic Bud intimidation. Now Bud is choosing to stay in the pocket here and put up the earmuffs. Bud wanted to work and move. Ooh, beautiful shot by Bud. Ooh, cross Adamas, nice combo. Bud comes right at him. Bud comes with a body shot, uppercut body shot. Ooh, another body shot by Bud. He's chopping that Adamas tree down. Ooh, Bud dips and hits. See, now Bud's starting to move. Bud wants to move. Ooh, nice shot. With the earmuff defense. Is, Bud's just trying to match earmuff defense for earmuff defense. Show him he could beat him at his game, which is always the best move. But ooh, Carlos Adamas is trying to take his head off. Good work by Adamas. Oh, now Adamas. Ooh, Adamas is, is clowning him. Clowning him. Look at that, hands down. Oh, Bud starts doing it back. I knew that. Bud won't let somebody just do that to him without getting his get back. That makes an act, that makes the, the most competitive fighters. Guys, you gotta get their get back. If it's one jab, you gotta get it back. If it's two jabs, if it's whatever it is, you gotta get it back. I used to do that too. Nice body shot by Bud. All right, Carlos Adamas now has his hands down. He's moving around. Ooh, misses a home run in Yankee Stadium. All right. You hear the, the Gleason, this Gleason's in Brooklyn, Jim. You hear them going wild. This is from maybe four or five years ago, maybe six years ago, I'm not sure. There, yeah, see, so, so, so now Bud's getting mad competitive because Carlos Adams was getting off on him. Now, Bud isn't boxing much here. He's, he's basically standing in the pocket. There's the Dom is playing with him. Ooh, the crowd's going crazy. You hear them going nuts. Oh. There's Bud with the beautiful short A to B punches I talked about. Beautiful. The only per Bud's the only one to hurt anybody in this was Bud hurt Adamas with a couple shots, wobbled him, did it twice. Bud hasn't been wobbled here at all. Bud got hit where he stepped back a second from the force of the punch, but he didn't wobble where he loses his, his equilibrium for a second. That's wobbled. That's hurt. Not getting caught and being forced back. My opinion, at least. Ooh, all right. That ends that round, and that ends the sparring there. Yeah, there you see Bud go over and give uh, Adamas props. It's a good sparring session. The comparisons between the two are heavy. Marvin Hagler is arguably the OG switch hitter in boxing, going from southpaw to conventional at the drop of a dime. Some might say Marvin Hagler is the cookie cutter. The co he is the blueprint for what Terrence Crawford is today. Marvin had unbelievable power he had unbelievable will he was a pressure fighter through and through his chin was possibly the greatest of all time he was also a switch hitter would go southpaw to conventional at the drop of a dime hurt you with either hand in either stance he never stopped coming these guys were very very similar but the the, the most surprising thing of all was marvin Hagler could box Marvin Hagler was on his Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Robinson type stuff. Marvin Hagler was dancing. He was on his toes, moving around the ring and dancing like Ali. Throwing punches, jabbing, jabbing, flicking the jab like Ali. Moving around, putting his hands down, showboating, making his opponent miss, setting traps, leaning back, countering quick, then leaning back again. I mean, Marvin Hagler had it all. Now, as he got older, and the Marvin Hagler most of us know because this clip that we just watched was an earlier Marvin Hagler, late 70s, early 80s Marvin Hagler, 
the Marvin Hagler we know didn't really box. He just came forward and put the pressure on and, and got the job done as quick as possible. But this Marvin Hagler showed that he as well had the entire package. Marvin Hagler had all, everything. Terrence Crawford is known for switching stances, being a switch hitter, meaning going from southpaw to conventional at the drop of a dime constantly throughout the fight. Terrence Crawford has obviously ironclad will. Terrence Crawford has very, very good power uh, with the A to B punching. I talk about the throwing punches, uh, short, crisp punches going from point A to point B in the shortest amount of time. Uh, Terrence Crawford's punch placement and selection is also what makes his power so good. Not only does he have a short, crisp leverage punch, but he places it perfectly. He uses guys' momentum against them as they're coming in, or he hits it as hits them as they're about to throw a punch, or he hits them when they don't see it. All of these things uh, come together and form like Voltron, making Terrence Crawford's punch one of the hardest we've seen in a long time. Plus, we know Terrence Crawford has some of the strongest just outside of the ring uh, physique that we've ever seen. He deadlifts 400 plus pounds. Terrence Crawford is also, his chin is good. Um, he's just a complete fighter. So you look at the two of them fight and the question is, well, who would win? If they fought each other, and mind you, Marvin Hagler had a few fights at 54. And obviously Terrence Crawford now is at around, he's at 47, but he's going up to 54. So in an ideal world, not even in an alternate universe, but if they both met at the right age, they could have both fought at 54. No catch weights, no, no hydration, no weight bullying. That's what their natural weights would have been. What happens if these two fought at 54, both in their primes? Man, I would have to lean towards Marvin Hagler. Just because Marvin Hagler's career was, we've seen the whole career, Bud still has some stuff left. Although it looks like he's just going to keep ascending to the top, we don't know yet. But I'd have to go with Marvin Hagler because Marvin Hagler had a couple extras. He had the chin, right? Bud's chin isn't bad, but it's not Marvin Hagler type level, right? Marvin Hagler, other than that, they're pretty even when you look at them. They're pretty even. Marvin Hagler just had the chin and I mean, they're both pretty aggressive. I just think Marvin Hagler was more of a pressure fighter, but Bud switches. Bud can be a pressure fighter and a boxer, whereas Hagler could actually be a pressure fighter and a boxer too. So they'd be kind of squared away even. What do you guys think? If Marvin Hagler and Terrence Bud Crawford fought at 154, both in their primes, who wins? Tell me in the comments.